Hi guys, Dorothy here, professional astrologer. Today I'm going to talk to you about the week of December 17th, but I'm going to speed through the beginning part of the week because mainly the biggest information is at the end of the week, which is the winter solstice and the full moon in Cancer. So I still have a lot to talk about, so don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So Monday, the moon is still in the sign of Aries. It was in Aries on Sunday the 16th. Also Monday the 17th it gives us a lot of energy to move, to create. We're very animated, lots of motion and movement. We just feel like we need to do stuff. That moon in Aries is very, very active like that. That's what Monday has to hold. There's no bigger aspects going on. Moving to Tuesday, the 18th and the 19th, the moon will be in the sign of Taurus at that point. And when the moon is in Taurus, if you're a person who's out shopping and doing things, we purchase things that have a lot of value. Those couple of days is a day where we feel that we really need to buy quality. We want to buy quality and things that have a lot of meaning to us. That moon in Taurus loves luxury, loves good food, loves beautiful, expensive gifts. So if you're buying stuff for yourself or for others, this is kind of what this, these couple of days will be like. If that's not part of your life, just look at what is your focus at this point in your life. And that moon in Taurus helps you to really value it even more so you can recognize what's important for you. We each have our own value system. So this is why we can't get any more specific than that. All right. On Thursday, the 20th, moon enters Gemini for the next couple of days as a waxing moon. So what's going on behind the surface? Yeah, lots of conversations. <laughs> How do I feel? What's going on? Talk, 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 think, think, think. Moon and Gemini as a waxing moon is like this. So know that that's going to go on behind the surface. A lot of driving around. It's a busy time of year anyways. So there's just a lot of action and movement in regards to the moon in Gemini. On the 20th, the biggest news though, is the sun making a trine aspect to Uranus. Sun is in Sag, Uranus is in Aries. This is a fire trine. This is really full of action, full of creativity, full of movement. It's exciting. I like this energy because it just keeps us moving and going, gives us everything that we need. The Sagittarius sun is always fun and adventurous. So planning parties for the weekend, even though by then the sun will be in Capricorn, doesn't matter. Planning, having fun. I like the sun trying Uranus. A lot of unexpected things can happen, but it's still a trine. So it's, they're usually positive things that surprise us and inspire us. So if you're feeling that on Thursday, you may even feel it Wednesday, but Wednesday into Thursday, it's that. It's the sun making that trine aspect to Uranus. All right. All right. Let's move on to Friday the 21st because this is the solstice coming to the full moon. But before that, we have a couple of other things that have been coming together throughout the week. The first thing is Venus in Scorpio making a trine aspect to Neptune in Pisces. This is romantic love. This is connecting in a very beautiful, easy, carefree way. I know Venus in Scorpio can be very deep and intense at times, but she is also connected to Neptune and Pisces, which is very romantic and very spiritual. And it's that soulmate connection. So if you're feeling easy and carefree today, just go with it. Be creative, be romantic, just enjoy. This is a very easy, carefree uh, aspect in the way I like to see it. But we also have it's not a negative, but we also have <laughs> Mercury conjunct Jupiter today as well. And so there is a lot of conversation going on, a lot of big conversation going on. Mercury in Sagittarius can just talk up a storm, not listen to anybody and just tell you all the secrets, right? So we may see some things come to the surface through news and social media sometime around Friday because Mercury doesn't know how to hold its tongue when it's in Sagittarius, tells the truth, tells the truth. Now, another positive way we can look at that, not that that's negative, but another way we can look at Mercury conjunct Jupiter is just a planning travel uh, for next year or 
getting ready to do a lot of travel because Sagittarius loves to move and go and explore. So that's what Friday looks like before we get to the winter solstice. Now the winter solstice is at 523 p.m. on the east coast of the United States. So just after noon um, over in the UK. So what do we have with this? This is, of course, the winter solstice. The sun enters Capricorn the day the sun stands still, if you will, because it is at its most southern latitude for the northern hemisphere, right? And it's the longest day if you live in the southern hemisphere. I know you know this. So when the sun stands still on the winter solstice for us here in the northern hemisphere, this is a day when we can stop and reflect. You know, it's time to go within since it is the darkest day of the year. Go within and reflect about what it is that you want to set goals for in your future. What do you want your future to look like? What do you want to do with this Capricorn energy? Because Capricorn is about building solid structure. It's about creating a reputation, making your reputation better. Not that it's bad, but just better. It is how we feel in our public life. So look at these things. Take some time during this solstice period and think about what it is that you would like to create for your future. That's what Capricorn is all about. That safety, that security of career, reputation, and how you protect your family with that right? And the reason I mention that is because we're going to move on to Saturday at the same time, because Saturday, the full moon at zero degrees of Cancer is on the east coast of the U.S., 1249 p.m., so just after noon, almost one o'clock in the afternoon. When the moon is, full moon is in Cancer, it helps us to see how we are working towards what we want for our family, how we're caring and nurturing and paying attention to what they need, how we are paying attention to what we need, how we need to be cared for and nurtured. So with the winter solstice, 24 hours before the full moon at zero cancer, this is a wonderful opportunity to really be very aware of what works for you and what isn't working for you going forward into the future. All right, so why do I say it this way? It's because zero degree of a full moon, zero degrees of any zodiac sign is about initiating action. But we're at a full moon, which is the culmination of everything we've been working on up to this point. So we're able to see what is working and what isn't working. So we've got dual energy going on here. I understand it and I recognize what I'm saying here. Working towards what is important for my goals, for my reputation because of the winter solstice and the sun now in Capricorn. First full moon in winter, just 24 hours after winter begins, moon at zero Cancer home, family, what is really important. This is energy that is initiating what we will be having with our eclipses coming up starting January 5th, all right, which is our first eclipse because we're starting a cycle of 18 months of Cancer and Capricorn eclipses. If you haven't seen my 2019 videos, go ahead and check that out, one for each zodiac sign. It's on my YouTube channel here. But this really is the initiator of those eclipses, just the way I see it, because it's the first thing we have going on in these signs. So that's what this whole weekend is about, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, engaging with your family in a way that you want to engage through that caring, nurturing piece and making sure you uh, really have your responsibilities and those goals in alignment with what is important for you. All right, so that is the forecast that we have for the week of December 17th. And again, if you've gotten to the end and you're still here, go on to my website, purchase a 45 minute session through my app booked in, and I will give you an extra 15 minutes. So you get an hour for the price of 45 minutes. That is a deal. 
I've been doing astrology a long time and it's still my prices are super low compared to just about everybody so come check that out it only happens in December you cannot get this deal if you purchase it in January I don't care when you make the appointment for but as long as the appointment is scheduled in December you are going to get the deal all right guys thank you very much please like comment and share that's the only way that I can continue to grow is because of you all right thank you very much guys blessings namaste